This is Circular Quay in Sydney, featuring one of the most inventive developments in the city's history. A new precinct that's anchored by a laneway that perfectly blends the old and the new and features an impressive six-level brick building by Melbourne architecture firm Studio Bright. As a bunch of Melburnians, <laughs> How does that come into play in terms of your, your relationship with the city? Uh, maybe they felt like they needed a, a Melbourne practice in there with the, the, the idea of how we might think about laneways. And that was certainly really fantastic because Melbourne has certainly been delivering fantastic laneways for many years. We were really a pretty small architecture business. There was, you know, six of us. Exciting and scary all at the same time. We obviously got accepted, so we've been ever since trying to deliver the building. What did it mean to you to be part of it? It's a sort of project that comes along once in your career, and really where it is in Circular Quay, it really was, we saw it as not just sort of a, an apartment building, but a city making project. It was a really important part of the city. And what, what was your inspiration for the building? I think from the very first um, time I visited the site and we understood the S Sydney sandstone was really important, my feeling was that it should be silvery grey bricks. It was really the first response I had. So that was a key thing, the materiality of the project. You obviously want it to be of its time. I think it's okay for buildings to be of their time. But I think one of the key things is quality, isn't it? That you would hope that the building, sitting next to buildings that were made, you know, 50 or 100 years ago, you, can't, you hope that your contribution could sit there with those buildings as well. But also about generosity and what it might give back to the city. Things like, a, you know, the rooftop um, garden, that that actually creates a fifth elevation that you look down on and plants will spill out over it and you know the screens and the layering of the materials in the project that they contribute to a sort of a, I suppose a beautifully layered cityscape and we really wanted to have bricks that were made locally. We worked with Brickworks to develop first of all a colour. One of the beautiful things that did come out of the process was that the clay body would often come through so we started getting really like lovely um, speckled tones in the brick, which I thought was a, was not something we expected, but that was the sort of the nature of the process. We liked the idea that it would transition in form gently. And so part of the, the corners became really important. I called Brickworks again and said we need to do some radius bricks. And we, you know, worked out how many radiuses we felt like we needed. What did you want to achieve? What was your dream? Not to be embarrassed when I walked <laughs> past it when I was 50. Yeah. That was a good start. We hoped it would be timeless uh, and that it would sit quietly amongst the Sydney Heritage Buildings and that really it would also contribute to the city, that it would be a vibrant, you know, beautiful place for people to be.